Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Krita. It is a free and open source software for painting, digital painting. And I'm going to show you and share some brushes which are exclusive. And uh, maybe I have taken from some of the internet and I made some of them. And I'm going to share you the whole package with you. So let's start. In the first place, I'm going to show you this. This is the panel where you can access your readily used brushes and here you can see I have I have uh, I, I have more brushes than usual here is 16 brushes usually you get 10 so I'm going to show you how to change this you have to find the Krita RC file this file in your username app data local you can edit it in notepad I'm opening with code so you can see how I'm going to do this okay it's open with code now you should search with F A V Fab. So now this, not this. Yeah, see, this is num of favorite presets. I have made it to sixteen. Usually it's ten. I have made it to sixteen. So I will get then save it. And when you restart Krita, you will have more brush presets than usual. Now I will show you the some of my favorite brush presets. How the how do they work? and the basic settings of them and I will share the bundle with you so that you can install them link in the description I am going to show you in first this is a AR brush preset this usually does when I press lightly it paints so light and when I press deep the, I mean, with high pressure this get this <clears throat> by the way I am using a Wacom tablet uh, you can see it in the description and its uh, price is a little bit more but I think it's pretty good it feels better okay next this is a normal brush it has no opacity variation or no size variation it just do like this it acts like a mouse obviously you will need this when blocking with colors next I have this <coughs> this this brush only size differs with your pressure when you press more it gives you a, a thicker when you press less this gives you a slow line this gives you a thinner line so when you combine them you can get it from a transition from slow to thick and then to slow again it feels much better when you do it in practice Krita is an awesome application and you can see the settings here you have the size variation you can you have a logarithmic curve here you can change it to whatever you like and get some better effects and there are so many controls from pressure to speed to rotation to distance to time to randomization everything that you can have the brush engine is more more powerful than Photoshop and it is an open source software now actually Photoshop is a photo editing software with some painting capabilities but Krita is a painting software with some photo editing capabilities so if you are a digital illust illustrationer or something like that you will like Krita definitely this brush is a unique kind of a brush this gives you this is a default brush anyway this gives when you press lighter the stroke is less opaque and also thinner when you press deeper the stroke is more opaque and also more thick so you can get a combined effect of them like this this uh, Wacom Paint tablet has 4000 pressure sensitivity you can call it 4k and I am using this tablet this is the Wacom tablet Pistacio this is a medium size tablet uh, this works pretty well you can get the link in the description now here is some exclusive ones this is a kind of this brush this uh, for little detailings and making making ma making some such things like whatever uh, required some precision and some detailings this press works fine this is a smaller version of the opacity and size brush here is a pencil thanks to the developer of them I didn't I have not made this this is a uh, I collected it from internet this is good enough you can get a good pencil like effect with it very easy and you will definitely like it now next comes the dark pencil this is a pencil you can see the texture there and also the anti-aliasing 
but this uh, is a dark kind of a pencil whatever you say and this is a kind of pencil with some uh, texture that is not content inside a little bit of jittery outside so it feels like a charcoal uh, yeah next you will get this nippon pen this is a pen like i mean with a nip pen you can get this anyway you are getting all these brushes you can test them out all by yourself this is a brush recently released this is also a charcoal like brushes with some variation in there actually they have used fuzzy dab i think okay now suppose i make some dabs and i want to make the sides a bit bloody so that it the transition doesn't look harsh so i can use this see what does it look now okay another thing is what i what i like the most this brush is extremely good this gives you a Textury kind of a thing when you press less this is less opaque and when you press hard this is more opaque and more jittery This gives you this gives me the most opportunity to get the kind of suppose you have a uh, What can I say you have okay, let me paint with this uh, like This brush make it smaller with the bracket keys and then with this Suppose I get this Now let me use the contiguous selection tool to select it and fill inside with some mm, grayish color maybe yeah okay that seems good now i can use that brush okay i think that's good uh oh it will be the brush mode yeah and use some darker color get it get it by pressing k twice oh i have to on make a new layer and turn on alpha inheritance and group them in a layer now oh no. what is happening no those are going outside i'm not going high okay let me paint in this layer and lock the okay this works now i can get a 3d effect very easily i can use the blender brush for any reason okay you can use this uh what is that this air brush to get that effect see how 3d it looks now and you can add also highlights by going to the screen mode and pressing the l key to get a lower saturation value and see this looks like a sphere isn't it if you want to get a more textury effect you can get to my brush and make it a little bigger and then okay this is this and go to the multiply mode and press k to get a lower saturation and lower and higher darkness and you can do like this things okay in mode again l Get some. This is a specular highlight point. See, this also looks kind of a 3D thing. Okay, uh, you can go to more darkness and go to multiply and have some really dark edges there. Okay, this looks pretty good. So, uh, this is my. I have. I have uh, sorted these brushes. Arpan favorite Asian chills. My name is Arpan Ghosh. You can obviously know. You will obviously know. This is this is the default brushes you saw here when I right click. And also I have some brushes in here. I have shared all of this with you. These are a great collection of brushes. And I I have also given you the link of the Wacom tablet which I am using. So thank you guys. Subscribe me if you like this video.